We're here at Heathrow Airport, where one young man's dreams are about to come true. And it's all happening because of a little charity called Make-A-Wish, who take on very big challenges with all their might. How are you? You all right? Very nice to see you, Chris. How are you? Hello. 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 How are you? We've come to meet 13-year-old Geraint, along with his mum, Julie, dad, Chris, and big sister, Kayleigh. Why here? Why that? Why an airport? Because Geraint have always wanted to be a pilot since he was the age of three. So, wow. fantastically, make a wish of made Geraint's dream come true. And he will get to meet a pilot today and be able to go on to a commercial flight, which is something wow. he's very, very excited about. <laughs> so. I, can, I can tell. I can tell he's excited. <laughs> As a child, Geraint was very outgoing. He really, really badly wanted to be a pilot. Quite often, we'd go down to the local airport and he'd have his radio so that he could pick up what the pilots were saying. He tried his best in school. He loved his sport, even though he had asthma. But he knew from a young age he had it, so he grew up with it, that he had it under control. He knew when he needed his pumps. So what went wrong? Nobody knows. I went to work, he went to school. Everything was just a normal day. I had a phone call at quarter past three. It was getting out on the other end of the phone, struggling to breathe, couldn't walk home. Could I go and pick him up? Geraint was having a major asthma attack and when his normal medicine failed to stop it, he was rushed to hospital. He was very, very anxious because um, he obviously couldn't get his breath. We just kept reassuring him, you know, everything was going to be OK. They had to take him upstairs into intensive care. At that point, two of us were very, very concerned because we could see that nothing had worked for him. Then about five minutes later, the, the nurse sat us down and said that they didn't know what had happened but he had, his heart had stopped beating. Um, they were working on him, but things weren't looking good. I just, just wanted to hold him, tell him everything. <laughs> I just wanted to hold him and tell him everything was gonna be okay. Um, and as I walked into the room, there's a te team of nurses and doctors working on him. Um, it was absolutely horrific. I just wanted to push him all out the way, and I just wanted to get to him. But obviously I couldn't, I had to leave them do their job. They worked on him for 14 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, they were 30 seconds away from calling his time of death. Oh, you're such a good boy. Yeah. Garrett's life had been saved, but his brain had been starved of oxygen, resulting in irreparable brain damage. He's a normal child one minute, and that's just been taken away from him. He'll never play rugby, go riding up the street on his bike. You know, he just can't do anything that he wants to do. It's heartbreaking. There's not a day goes by that I don't cry. I miss the old Garrett. Mm. I miss him coming in and throwing his bags on the floor and me shouting to put his things away. Mm. You know, I'll get upstairs and have a shower. <laughs> I'd do anything to have them days back yeah. where I'd have to nag him to do his homework. You know, every, things that we always took for granted. Over that tongue around. At the end of the day, we become his nurse, his physio, Everything. his carer. Everything. We talk to him. Done it all. Mm. We do it all. He still tells us he loves us, doesn't he? Every day, um, yeah. I mean, he's starting now to put his arm around me and hug me, which, you know, it's, it's amazing. But the amazing thing is he's able to do that because of the su sorry. Yeah. <laughs> support. The support yeah. you've both given him, yeah. so. Yeah. You have. And what are you going to be when you grow up? Uh, yeah. Pilot. Uh, yeah. There are 20,000 other children in Britain like Geraint who live with devastating, life-threatening conditions. And it's these children who make a wish, strive to help. Good morning, Geraint. First of all, we've got your hat. So 
to be in a position to actually meet pilots and go around an airport to areas that you would never ever go. Yeah. You could never ever arrange anything like this for him. They are making his dream come true. Oh, you're the captain. This charity copes with over 100 wish referrals a month, each with its own set of complex requirements. So as you can imagine, those costs soon add up. And Make-A-Wish can only grant these wishes with your help. So please help give children like Garrett the chance to dream big and add a little magic to their lives.